palatable. And what I mean is like, say, instead of saying abolish the IRS or abolish the income tax, talk about the benefits of income. Uh, oh, sometimes okay. I think. I thought you were going to say privatize the IRS. I got scared for a minute. <laughs> <laughs> no, we don't want an efficient IRS. No, no. <laughs> yeah. Go ahead. What I'm saying is a lot of times you hear Ron Paul or whoever right on national TV, they want to abolish this. And of course, yeah. they raise the question to keep in mind. Instead of doing that, maybe explain the benefits that would come with uh, you know, getting rid of the income. Well, selling it. Well, I think people understand the benefits. Don't they? I mean, I, it seems obvious to me that they, the benefits are negative. I mean, they're, they get the money, they can keep the money they've earned. I, mean, my, I don't see why it's difficult to sell them on this. It might think they're offsetting circumstances of some sort. But uh, I, I try it. I mean, I'm not against doing that, but I, it seems to me uh, we should also say we're in favor of abolishing the IRS. <laughs> in addition to the benefits which will flow when we get rid of it, sure. I mean, there's a positive and negative side to every coin. You know, it's like the welfare system. I want to abolish welfare for two, basically two reasons. You want to get these people off our net, and you want to get rid of them being dependent. And you have a class of generation of welfare dependents. It's good for them, it's good for us. That's true. Well, both of these sides of the coin are correct. So what you push at any time is really up to you. It's up to the situation. <laughs>